Fly, fly, little tank. Fly, fly. What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Siege Deluxe Class Skytread. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. Right up front here, we have the Siege. His name is Skytread Transformers. On the side of the box, you have that's lovely. Lovely artwork on this side of the box. We have artwork of Sky Tread, both of the vehicle modes there. On the top, Decepticon symbol, Transformers War for Cybertron, bloody bloody bloody. On the bottom, we have words and things and barcodes. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots, this at the other. Warning, don't eat anything in this box. That could be very bad for you. And that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have Skytread, a.k.a. Flywheels, a.k.a. whatever you want to call him, what do I care? But uh, here he is, the next of the uh, the duo cons, and you can see we have a little jet, we have a little tank, and uh, he's pretty cool, I like him. So first we will take a look at the jet portion here of Skytread, you got some nice blue there for the cockpit, this up the con symbol. Right up there. There's a lot of this uh, kind of dull gold paint on the figure, which I do quite like. I find it quite striking. It works well with the uh, kind of maroonish color he is. There, there's more of that gold. You got some going down the wings. You also have some nice molded details. Got some more of that paint there on the tail fin sections. There's the back. There's the bottom. The robot mode arms are right under there. A bit of an undercarriage, but, you know, considering the way this works, yeah, yeah, pretty much unavoidable. But still, pretty nice looking jet mode, in my opinion. And here we have the little tank portion, just done in brown, with some more of that dull gold there up front, as well as on the treads themselves. The treads are very nicely detailed. Do quite like that. And you get some more of that kind of weathering, kind of scratching, scuffing, paint detail there going down the sides and of course you get the cannons up front here with those bits of that dull gold as well and there you have the top again some nice detail you have the back not much to speak about back there the underside there are little rolling wheels so they can roll pretty well so you got that going on as far as the uh, the cannon goes. It's just pegged in, so you can rotate a little bit, but it's really not meant to because you can see how it just kind of lines up with that section right there. It's not really meant to rotate. You can kind of wiggle it a little bit. Um, this gun right here can rotate. There's a bit more freedom of movement there. You can plug this on either side if you want to. As you can see, there's a port on either side. You can plug that there if you want to. There are also ports on the side, so if you want to, you can plug it on the side if you want to. Hey, whatever you want to do, as always, your toy display it however you wish. Um, you can also take the guns off completely and you can peg them underneath the jet's wings. There are ports there for it as well. So if you want to have that going on, you can totally have that going on. Or if you just want to take this one big gun and have that plugged up top, you can do that too. Again, your toy! Do what you want with it. That's the point. Play! Play! <laughs> but... There you have that. And for comparison, uh, here he is with the uh, Battle Trap duo here. As you can see, now they all look together. So, just got a better look here at the jet and the helicopter here. I'm going to raise up a little bit so we can actually get a real good look. There we go. You can see the jet's slightly longer, just slightly. And of course, the tank right there, a little bit bigger. So, there you have your duo cons. And here they are with Gasket and Gromit, aka Cog. So you can see how that works out. Here they are with Sideswipe, Hound, Optimus, and Lord Megatron. So that is basically it for the vehicle modes. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's! So first we'll start off with the tank section here. So first we will remove the weapons. 
and put those off to the side. And what we're going to do here is we want to untab these panels right here. You just hook in right in there. Just undo those, open that up, take this section here. You want to untab it from those two tabs and just bring all of this up. You want to split the legs, then flip up the feet, and then you just close up this panel, and that will finish up the legs. And there you go. There you have the lower body all done. So now moving on to the upper body. What we're going to do here is we're just going to untab the arms from this back section here. And then you can split the arms. And just swing them out like so. Take this section here. Just bring that up. And there are these panels here on the side that you just want to swing around. Those will just tab in there. And that will fill out the body. Come here. There we go. Boop. Right there like so. And then you just take this whole cockpit section and all of this will just come down. And that will just tab in right there like that. And the wings, you can bring them all the way back if you want to. I like to leave them just a little bit angled out. And then we just flip out... The fists, rotate the arm with the bicep so everything is oriented properly. Flip out the fist, rotate the arm. And there you have the upper body all done. And then we just take the two halves and we plug them together. Like so. And there you go. There you have Skytrud in his robot mode. And he's a pretty good looking bot in my opinion. Me likes, me likes. Let's get in close here so we can take a look at that noggin right there. Uh, mine, you can see the, the paint got a little bit, a little scratched up on mine, unfortunately, but still some nice silver paint there on the face, red for the visor, all around. Pretty nicely done head sculpt, besides the fact that, you know, he looks like he's a, uh, Kind of already been in a fight, but hey, it's okay. It's a war. Why not? <laughs> you can see some nice detail there in the body, in the arms. You get some more of that kind of dull gold in there in the forms. Some nice detail there in the midsection, going down the legs. And his big old tread feet. Some nice heels that come out as well, which is nice. Makes them nice and stable. And the backpack there is pretty much the majority of the jet. But still, works out pretty well. Now, as far as articulation goes, the head is on a ball joint, so you get that wiggly, waggly, wiggly, waggly. You can look up a little bit, look down slightly. Head, of course, can do a full 360. Arms can rotate a full 360. They can go in and out quite a good ways. You have bicep rotation. You have over 90 degrees of a bend there at the elbow. Uh, nothing at the wrist except for that inward movement due to transformation. He does have waist rotation. Legs can go forward. That far they can go back. That far outward. You can do the full splits and then some. You get thigh rotation. You get 90 degrees of bend there at the knee, and the feet can move up a little bit, can move down a lot bit, and you get some ankle tiltage there. And of course, you can give him his guns, and like all these figures, there are ports on the shoulders, on the forearms, on the legs here, so you can plug those weapons wherever you want. You have those ports here underneath the wings, you can plug them there if you want, you can plug them back here for storage, if you wish. As always, your toy, do what you want with it, but we'll just... Plug them into his hands, like so, so you can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang. It's a thing, it's a thing you can do. Another thing you can do with the guns is you can combine them. You just take the smaller gun and plug it into the back of the larger gun, and you get this big old rifle of murder death. So, you can have that going on if you want to as well. So I'm gonna big like rifle, big like sniper rifle type deal going on there. Hey, again, it's a thing. It's all things you can do if you want to do them. Me personally, I like him just having two guns. So there you go. And now for comparison, here he is with Cog. You know what? We'll get a whole uh, a 
the whole deluxe line up here. We have side swiping hounds. And there we have our four deluxes from Wave 1 right there. A good looking set of figures in my personal opinion anyway. And here he is with Prime and Megs. As you can see how that works out. And here he is with Battle Trap. So you can see how the duo cons look together. And they look quite good together. And in case you're wondering, and I'm sure somebody is wondering, um, yes, they can trade pants. They can totally, <laughs> they can totally trade pants. There you go. Now I can shove his head up uh, into his stomach. There we go. <laughs> so yes, they can. They can totally trade pants. It's a thing. It's a thing you can do if you want to do it. So there you have Skytread, another well done figure in this Siege line, in my opinion. I've been digging all of the figures in the Siege line so far. Just all of them really just fun, playable toys. Like, I've really been enjoying this line so far. But yeah, Skytread looks good, feels good, fun, playable. I like them, so there you go. So if you would like this or any other Siege toys, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out my Siege playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Transformers Siege Deluxe Class Sky Tread. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek, be a proud. Boom in your face! Now, Skytread, I need you to breach the Autobots' defenses so we can launch a full-scale assault. Now do it, or so help me, Primus, I will rip you in half! Um, see, that really wouldn't matter because I, I, I do that anyway. Uh, okay, I'll do it, I'll do it! It is so hard to find good sacrifices these days, really. I mean, what's a bot gotta do? Well, at least I didn't end up in a tree this time. There are still trees around here? Get out! <laughs> <laughs>